How you doing? I'm going to show you how to change the DHCP and auto IP settings from off to on so that the machine will pick up an IP off of your home network once it's uh, connected to the network through Ethernet. So you're going to click the menu button. You're going to, you might have to scroll through, but you're going to scroll to the wired network that it was just on. Hit the right arrow. You're going to key in your ID, which is going to be 4000. Hit OK. Do it again for the password. Okay, You're get, this should be the first thing that comes up, but if it doesn't, just scroll to where it says TCP slash IP. You're going to hit the right arrow. DHCP and auto IP are turned off because it was from a static IP environment. You're going to click OK, turn the auto IP on, click OK again to lock it in, go up to DHCP, click OK, click it to on, click OK to lock it in. And at this point, you can back out by hitting the left arrow, back all the way out, and hit menu to get to the main screen. But you're going to want to turn the machine off. And then back on, wait, wait about five minutes, uh, at five seconds or so. Um, once you turn it back on, it should find its own IP address on your home network. At that point, you can download the driver from copystore.com um, and re -conf and configure it to your, your machine at home. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.